Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel, and today we're playing 2-5 cash games, buying for this game is $500. Here we have hijack open, 3 betting queens. Jams, we call, so we get in 40 blinds pre-flop here versus ace-5 offsuit. They flop a gutter. Turn the ace. Ugh, that's frustrating. Alright, so we get that in pretty good, unfortunately. No good, though, by the river. So we open under the gun. Hijack three bet, or cut off three bet, sorry, I put in the four bet. See a call. Um, eight, six, three. Start with a check here. Can go either way between betting and checking. We're gonna check aces this time. Check, check, two turn. We'll start betting turn. Go about two thirds. Jams we call. Pocket tens, just hold. There we go. Nice huge pot aces. Open hijack with nines. Or sorry, open cutoff with nines, small line three bets, flatting in position. Queen eight seven, so do see one over card. And bets will call. Turn jacks, so we pick up a gutter. Uh, pretty easy check for us, I think. Seven on the end. Try and think what we do here. Bet's a hundred. So I think if anything, I have more seven X and I block the straight. So I think I'm actually gonna jam this one. Not that we were up 10 nine here, but uh, can I have a seven suited exactly? Seven six suited. Yeah, I'm gonna bluff jam this one. Get call, doesn't work out. Ooh, we bluff jam into virtual nuts. So gets tricks me there by uh, checking the um, the turn, the top set. So basically there on the river load, I'm trying to represent, like I said, exactly like a seven, seven, six. Nines without a diamond, tens without a diamond, probably gonna be some of our best bluffs. Again, not that I'm really repping 10, nine because I'm never gonna check turn on that what of a board with it. But I do think can jam for value with any seven there, given the fact that it goes check, check, turn, and then we face what was it, like two thirds on the turn. So I think if we use um, pocket nines, pocket tens without a diamond as our bluffs, and then we have uh, the seven six and the ace seven suited as our value hands, that's probably okay. Open button, big line checks back, or calls. We check back flop, bet turn here with two pair. raises so going to be a call here and king on the end I'm trying to think what we do if he jams here so trying to think it through his bluffs what he's going to mainly want to use i don't think there's anything that's i mean like everything's a gut shot i would call a6 i'm not sure on ace4 because i do lose to that uh, what's his bluff? King queen or queen or king ten? So I think the straight coming in is a problem. Man, it's just so tough. I mean, I'm gonna have better hands too because like I'll have ace king here on the river, ace jack obviously, ace six like I said. So I think the worst ace two pair I'm gonna fold ace four, but call ace six. But tough spot against Jay basket. If this is a complete brick where it's like a nine, I probably call. Like I said, he can like of his bluffs. <laughs> It's hard to find them on non-flush draw boards, and if he does, like, queen Ten's one of them. So he could, but again, if he's using, like, king 10, it's a good bluff, too. So, a little worried we're overfolding if we fold two pair here, but I am going to let it go. Here we have cutoff open, button flat, flat sevens in the big blind, flop a set. Very nice. We're going to raise our checks, unfortunately. It's over to the button now. Hoping the button bets they do. So going for the raise. Puts another bet. Hopefully not a set of eights, hopefully a set of twos. <laughs> so we'll be getting it in. Ten nine, I got a huge draw, 59% favorite. And we hold, very nice. So yeah, huge draw is the other thing too, clubs in the open ender. 
Open cutoff button, three bets, we're four betting. See the call. Uh, king seven, four. Go for a bet here. Turn jack. Um, let me think here. I'm trying to think between check jam and bet again. I think we're just going to go bet again. They decide to jam call. And seven on the end. So they should, probably don't have tons of 7x calling twice, particularly when they can't have 7x of club. So this will be a jam here targeting king x. Hopefully they don't have king jack. Hopefully they have like king queen. But uh, go for the value jam 408 and the 532. And has seven. Oh my gosh. Oh man, they did have a seven. I thought they would fold those on the turn if they had them. That's tough. Oh, that is a tough one to lose, guys. All right. So lose with aces, value jamming. Like I said, I think the jam's fine. Uh, frustrating to have it. I mean, obviously, use a pretty small size on the turn, which makes it more likely they call with that type of hand than if, say, I'd bet bigger. But so uh, the S pair, what it said, I think I do like going small. So it goes cut off open, small blind flats off a shorter stack. We squeeze aces. See a call, jack, jack, eight, going small here. Not the like ideal flop. And then eight on the turn, ugh, that's an ugly one. Lose an eight as well, we'll check turn here. I was gonna still bet some turns, I don't think we wanna be betting an eight though. Uh, so he bets small, just gonna be a call, I'm trying to think about what rivers we hero, probably when straight draws miss, cause those will be the hands he turns into bluffs. So like that's a good one. If he has ten nine, queen ten suited, like those are what he hope we're hoping he runs as his bluffs here. Uh it's so bad it's both jack and eight. I'm probably calling if he jams, but I don't like it. <laughs> uh, so like what are his bluffs? Exactly ten nine and queen ten? I don't know if he calls ten eight suited preflop, probably not. Mm. Don't think he's going to turn like nines, tens into a bluff. Oh, he could have like sevens and sixes he turns into a bluff though. So yeah, I think we do call for that. Yeah, sixes exactly. So I actually really, I like his bluff there because it's like hard for me to call even with like good hands like that. But uh, that's what we're hoping for there. Seven, sixes, obviously not fives because that'd be a boat on the river. But, and then like the queen, ten, ten, nine. So like once I realize like, oh, the sixes and sevens could be bluffs too. That makes sense. Then I think we get to call. Call flop, turn the open ender here. Go ahead and bet turn. And three river. I think we're probably gonna run this one not having a spade as a bluff, or not having a spade with a spade fold. They just lead jam, so it might have saved me my bluff there. So we have undergun limp, cutoff raise, we three bets. Limper calls pretty quickly. Let's see what the cutoff does. Could be a lot of money in this pot here. So they jam. Obviously, I'm not slow rolling here, but it's because the other players still in. I can't snap action because it can influence what they do. So we're just going to take a minute with this other player still behind with money in. Again, not slow rolling. It's because there's action behind. So three way all in. Tens and ace king. Just hold. No king, no ten. Let's go. Wow. Huge spot there for us. Open queen nine suited, small blind flats. They lead into us on the flop. We call a top pair. Bets again when we turn the flush draw. Call. Spade. Ooh, nine. Pretty good one, too. King 10 comes in. Um, trying to see if we jam if they bet. The SPR is pretty low, which makes it closer. And also just like a sizing thing in general. They only bet third here. I don't think they have tons of two pair plus. So I think I am going to go for the jam. Also because they're shorter as well, so we're not risking as much the times we get coolered. And I'm going to try and target exactly like king, queen, ace, queen here. So this is kind of against the sizing. If we get snap called, ooh, we do, but we're still good. Queen 10, so we squeak out that value. Obviously a lucky river card, but really nice to get the extra value. Button opens, three betting nines from the big blinds. See the four bets. Uh, just gonna be a call, I think. Jam 10s, call nines. 
and pretty good flop here. In a four bet pot with so much money, and I'm probably check jamming flop here on 862. He decides the bet. So 260 middle, 401 back. So yeah, 65. So if we call here, it's like under one to one. Yeah, we just jam. Obviously, like it's hard to get worse to call, <laughs> but there can be draws than getting denial from two over cards. It's so hard to play turns and rivers with this hand. So we'll jam. And once we don't get snapped, we know we're good right now. Well, I shouldn't say that, but we feel pretty confident we're good right now. I can have like trapped aces, um, but we jam the nines there on the flop, take it down. So we open these can get three bet by a shorter stack. Put in the four bet. They don't three bet super often, thousand and six percent, but ace king definitely still get enough to four bet, particularly when they're under eighty blinds effective. Snap calls. Forty. I think we go small here. And I think Ace King's actually a call if they jam because it's like barely over one to one SPR here. Oh, I'm just worried that their range looks like they don't have enough bluffs here, but they kind of hard draws too. Win two twenty nine to win five forty nine. Probably just have to call, but I don't love it. I'm pretty sure it's a theory call. I'm just not sure versus their like tighter four betting range. All right, we call. They have queens. Bink the ace, got a fade of hearts, and we get super lucky. So you guys can let me know on that all-in call. I'm not sure that was correct, but we get very, very lucky. Small one opens, three-bet kings. Calls pretty quickly, jack 10-7. Uh, wet board, they're a bit shorter, so more willing to go with it. Jams, just have to call kings here. Just queens, we have a perfect hold. Yes, big cooler there, kings and queens. All right, YouTube, that's the end of a marathon cash game session. So I played for 10 and a half hours at 2-5 and 1-2 in the 2-5 game. 1,552 hands plus 939. 1-2, 2,892 hands minus 1,084. Total results, 4,444 hands minus $144. Uh, it might sound like a break-even session, which it is, but uh, we were down 2.8K at one point in the session. So it feels really good to have a small loss here today. So hope you enjoyed the hands and the video. If you did, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you ever want to catch the live streams on Twitch, I have a link to my Twitch channel in the description below.